Now, your carrots and broccoli should look similar to now your carrots and broccoli should look similar to that welcome to the fang Motor farms page i am excited to bring you a soup that is not only super delicious but also is amazingly spiced with our classic and melting pot rub if you are new to fang Motor farms and our spices i'm going to give you a quick overview of what the spices are that i'm using these herbs are grown on our farm cleaned taken care of dried and put into blends and single dried herbs this is a classic spice right here i will let you see a little bit more um, i will tell you that these bottles got discontinued so if you purchase you will probably get them in a different type of bottle but the ingredients mm -mm -mm, are going to be just as delicious as the original mason jars so also the other spice i am using is melting pot now here is the, the ingredients i love this one i love all of our spices you can see here that this one does have some sea salt but i still added salt into this recipe screenshot your grocery list hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell now in my instapot i have minced garlic broccoli and carrots and I'm going to add in probably about two tablespoons of melting pot and let it saute in here together nicely and then I'm going to add in some more of the other ingredients like the red potatoes and mm, this smells so good the red potatoes and some water and put this on pressurized high for about four minutes now your carrots and broccoli should look similar to this um saute it for maybe about two minutes and it should be covered with the seasoning of melting pot and the garlic i threw in some olive oil in mine and now i'm going to put in the potatoes here i have halved a lot probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um red skin potatoes this is the spice that i'm going to be using for the potatoes but before that i'm going to go to my instapot now the soup is looking incredible i just added in the half red peppers and the red potatoes and now i'm filling up some purified water um turned off the saute and here goes now that is two cups i'm gonna fill it up to where it is covering um and that the potatoes are just poking out just a smidgen this is going to create a really nice broth inside of the instapot from it gonna be um pressurized for about four minutes and it's going to soften all this up and then we'll get to more of the soup I'm just going to add a little bit more in there. You see just how it's getting all ready. Just like it looks like it's a soup. Like if this is cooked, you could just get ready and eat it. And it'd be super delicious, flavorful, um, and really just, you know, heartwarming and warm up your belly. But we're going to take it up a notch and make it very creamy and cheesy. And then add some delicious beef on top. Here it goes. We're going to pressurize it for four minutes and let everything just work itself how it needs to inside of the pot. I had to make a switch up. My beef just was not where it needed to be, so I had to um, get rid of it. But we're going to do it with chicken instead. So I have my classic spice here. I already put some into the bag. I have Devotion Buttery Blend right here, and then I have garlic. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually put these three ingredients inside the bag and then put the chicken and coat it really nicely all over it. Um, that way it's actually gonna hopefully reduce the mess and still give me a crispy, delicious, tender chicken that I can top on top of the cheesy, creamy potato soup we have going on in the Instapot. Here is the chicken. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually breaded pretty well. It's just protein. It's gonna stick, it's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be browning. 
Um, what I did over here was put just olive oil in the pan, um, let it line the pan just a little bit, so not too much. And I'm gonna put the chicken into the pan. Cook it on uh, both sides for about seven minutes on each side, depending on how hot you have your pan. And I promise this is gonna turn out so delicious. Let's throw up the heat a little bit, but I'm gonna make these little things even in here. And they're gonna come out just mm, mm, mm. spices. Or what does it? And then you have the protein as coating, makes you feel like you have it fried. And it's not. And that's like the best ever. Like what protein does this? This is the first one I've ever heard of, and I'm not going back to any other ones. Now that all of everything has pressurized together, I just took a potato masher and mashed everything up, and it just looks amazing and delicious, and I'm gonna keep on mashing, and then I'm gonna make a cheese sauce and fold it into this, and we have a creamy, cheesy melting pot potato mm, soup and then the chicken is done on the side we'll chop that up and just plate it and i'll show you what all that looks like so i'm making a cheese sauce now to go into the soup um i have some coconut evaporated milk i also have devotion buttery blend because i'm not going to use butter in the mixture so I have the about half of the coconut um, evaporated milk in here. It's just warming up. So I'm going to sprinkle in the devotion and whisk it into the milk. It's gonna make it nice and buttery without having to put actual butter in and it's gonna have a protein base and it's gonna, it's gonna come out nice and creamy after I put the cheese in as well. So I'm gonna do this slowly with the buttery blend because I don't want it to cake. I want it to blend in here nicely and get thick. This is my very first time actually making this type of cheese sauce um, because I usually use evaporated milk and butter and flour. So the buttery blend is going to substitute for the butter and flour and be a protein base with the coconut evaporated milk. This is about one level scoop, so we're good there. Keep working it in. Pour the rest of the milk in. Let this heat up and then I'm gonna add in the cheese. So the concoction of the coconut milk and the protein is actually looking pretty good, nice and creamy by itself here. Um, this is the cheese I'll be using. It is Cabot. Um, light 50 sharp cheddar cheese found it at kroger no sorry meyer so here is the packaging cut it in half and diced it and i'm going to add that to this mixture here like i said this is the first time i've ever made this type of cheese sauce with these ingredients so it's a nice alternative to evaporated milk and you have it with coconut milk, so it's dairy-free, as well as soy-free, which is nice. And then we have the protein, which is a great additive in here. And then we have the cabbage cheese, that is a reduced cheese that still is super delicious. So let this melt down, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Oh fantastic it's very creamy 
I probably could have added more teas into it, but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, it really makes me interested to see what this would come out with, um, like a mac and cheese or a pasta, because this is basically very, um, light and smells delicious. So the next meal may be, um, a mac and cheese, who knows, but I'm going to fold this into the potatoes and the Instapot and the soup is then ready to be enjoyed. Yummy. All oh, that cheese, yes. Okay, so let's pull this into. Here is the potato soup and here is the cheese sauce. I'm gonna pour it in there. Mix it up and let's get this dinner going. It is smelling amazing. You see how cheesy it is. Just warming the actual soup back up. But that sauce, here we go. This is mm, so good. So this is an amazing, creamy, cheesy potato soup. Yummy. With melting pot. And all of the good stuff inside of it. Do you see this? This is so good. Yum. It is soup weather. Creamy. Delicious. Basically guilt free. Mm. Simple ingredients. Natural. Deliciousness. Top with some chicken. Bacon. Hemp seed whatever you'd like, or just eat it by itself. Enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow our page. More recipes to come. Shop at thingwinterfarms.com for your melting pot to get the most amazing flavors in your next meal. Be sure to hit the notification bell for future recipes. Tell us in the comments if you like this one.